So first of all, click on start button in your VM and then type control panel over there. Hit enter. Once done, click on turn windows features on or off and then your server manager will open. Click on add roles and then click on next. Once done, the first option is fine role based or feature based installation. Next. Then your IP and your server name will appear. Click on next. Here you will see multiple options over here. All you need to do is scroll down and find web server IIS. Add features. Just scroll down, click next. You don't need anything. And next screen, take a look at .NET Framework 4.6 features. It should be selected. Scroll down. And then you can see if there is any other feature needed. Again, scroll up. So I don't think you need anything else. Click on next. Nothing else. Next. And in this screen, you have to scroll down and look for IIS 6 management compatibility. Click on next. Nothing else. Click on install. And this installation will start. It can take up to sometimes a few minutes depending on your installation. So I'll just fast forward it, forward it. Yeah, so it is, it's been fast forwarded over here and you can see that the installation is completed over here. You can scroll down and see what else has been installed and just close it. Now in order to check it, click on start once again and type IIS. You can see internet information services installed. Click on that and you'll see a pop-up in which, let me expand it. And you can see that there is an option of your server available over there. If you'll click on that, you'll get multiple options for your IIS server. So this is how you install your IIS server in any VM. Now, if you're thinking of uninstalling it, how do you do that? Again, type server manager, click on that. Once it opens, let it open. Let me close this. There are other ways to do is you can type control panel and again you have to go in the turn windows features on and off the same option it will open the server manager so you can do it this way as well click on an is and here you can see start the remove roles or features wizard click on next once done you'll see your server keep the option as default click on next and here you need to scroll down and see what was selected before so just unselect this web server IIS click on next scroll down to check everything is done or not once done you can just cross check it and click on next you don't need anything else thus everything is completed and click on remove once done it will start the feature removal so again it can take up to some time and it will uninstall it let me fast forward it once done all you have to do is you have to just close it and you can see that option now it is feature removal is completed now you can just click on close and everything is completed now if you click on turn windows features on or off you can see there is no IIS server over on our left side. This means your IIS server is removed. Let me cancel this. Let me cancel this as well and go to start type IIS and you can see internet management's IIS manager over here. Let me close this. You can restart. Otherwise, it will not appear because it has been uninstalled but it will appear again. So I have restarted my machine. You can click on there and now type IIS and you can see it is gone. So this is one of the most important things that you have to restart your servers after the installation, uninstallation, otherwise it will not appear. So, so thanks guys. I hope you have understood what we have taught in this how to video. So you can easily now install or uninstall an IIS server in any kind of virtual machine.